Hi, I'm Sonam. Today I'm doing uh, the easiest thing that I can do to look glamorous, which is a typical 90s Bollywood style makeup, which is called, it's like this smudgy brown around the eyes and there's kajal inside the eyes. It uh, was made super famous by this makeup artist called Vicky Contractor, uh, who is an institution and he's amazing and he taught this to me and uh, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do an amazing red lip and I'm gonna look like a typical like Indian Bollywood actress okay so let's start so now let's start with my skincare um, I'm going to do vitamin C so I just take it and then I pat it on my skin and do it on my neck because it's really important okay and then and I'm going to do a little bit of moisturizer. This is another one of my doctors, Dr. Lancer, who is in um, LA, who's great. And it's this like method moisturizer that I use, which is great. I also put it under my eyes because you can do this, use this under your eyes as well. As an actor, um, I think it's a little dangerous to put stuff in your skin like you know a lot I, I mean I think it looks beautiful when some people do it but as an actor I don't think it's you can't do a lot of stuff like put fillers and Botox and stuff like that because it all shows on screen I, ha I really have to take care of my skin and it's important for me to do it using a little bit of sunblock which is really important I mix my sunblock with Dr. Strum's anti-pollution drops Especially on the forehead, I like to put on my nose. I am like, I have like a lot of like eight spots, like brown spots on my face because I do a lot of films without makeup because I do those kind of films. Again on my neck. I use coconut oil on my lips. Um, it's this like really cool Indian brand called Forest Essentials and I use that on my lips and sometimes I use them on my eyebrows, on my eyelids and I like it. I have horrible dark circles and lots of like brown spots around my face so I have this corrector that I like to use which is an orange corrector I don't find many products for like Indian girls or like girls who are my color because we have like a very I think special tone uh, we have a lot of pigmentation we have pink and yellow in our skin tone. I honestly haven't found a foundation or anything that I can actually completely use. So a lot of correction that needs to be done on my face. So you see, the, just the corrector has helped my skin so much. Now I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown one. Please guys, don't. You, I know you guys have discontinued this, but please, please, please don't. I don't really have bad skin because I I drink a lot of water. I avoid sugar as much as I can. I I mean after a certain age I completely stop drinking alcohol and um, yeah so I think I'm I'm pretty fine. I eat a lot of greens, green juices. So after I use a little bit of concealer, um, I don't need to use that much foundation. So a lot of people online had been asking me to do a makeup tutorial. I guess this is this is it to see how amazing I am at it. Not. Okay, so my foundation, uh, my concealer and my corrector is done and now I'm going to just add a little bit of foundation because I don't need much more than this. So this is like something that uh, my makeup artist in London, Maria, mixed for me. I, I take this um, under my eyes as well so that it all like matches and I don't look crazy. I've worked with some of the best makeup artists in the world and um, internationally and in India and they just have they just know what they're doing and sometimes you know you just pick up stuff because you're staring at them doing your makeup the whole time everybody has their own styles of doing makeup and then you just see what you think works for you when you're doing your own makeup because everybody has a different way of doing makeup a lot of people don't go into their necks and it just looks crazy again face looks different from your neck I have this amazing powder from La Mer that I use. Um, it's got a little bit of shine underneath it, so it kind of reflects out of your like your under eye, and I think it sits really beautifully. So I put this under my eye. Before I put my powder under my eye, I basically take my sponge and get rid of the lines, which I have after 30, and I kind of just push it into my eye under my eyes like that. Then I take the rest of it and put it over my eyes because I have lines everywhere. 
and then I just take it and put it near my nose and near here. A lot of people don't use color and I think color just brightens your skin up, you know, and it just looks nice. So I like using like pinks and golds and stuff that's like colorful. Let's start with the eyes, which is the fun part. Um, I'm using this NARS pencil um, to do this smudgy. It's, it's, it's a disaster. I didn't know that you couldn't sharpen it and you just did this. So I tried sharpening this pencil. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come really close. It's gonna be freaky. There's this powder that I use for um, contouring, which I also use as a little brown smudgy thing, which is from Benefit, which is really nice and light and brown and so I'm using that. The dark eye is a very Indian thing because we have big eyes and beautiful eyebrows and we always try to accentuate that. And a lot of Indian girls actually don't have the best, um, like I said, there are foundations that we don't have for our skin and stuff like that. So we just kind of accentuate our eyes because we don't have the right skin stuff. I hope somebody comes up with like foundation and concealer and all that will work on Indian skin, you know. Now I have to put kajal inside the eyes. Now it's a little freaky the way I do it, so don't judge me. And then I lift it up and then I do it in the other eye as well. So when you do that, it just makes your eyes look really nice and big. And now, weirdly, I'm going to do a little bit of shine on my eyes after all of this. So there's this really cool product that Cherish, my makeup artist in LA, showed me. It's, it's basically this Givenchy thing. You can't see it, but there's like shine on it and I love it. I love using brushes. I used to paint when I was younger. So I feel like I'm painting my face and sometimes when I'm, um, you know, when I'm about to go on a shoot, just sitting in front of the mirror and getting my makeup done or doing my makeup myself, is just like, it, it just prepares me. I started working when I was 17. Um, I was an assistant director and the director who was directing that film decided to cast me in his next film. And um, I, the first film that I did was when I was 20. I don't know how many films I've done, but I must have done like 20, I think. Um, and um, it's been a journey, <laughs> it's been lovely. The blush that I've been using for a long time is the Shu Amara pink. Very, it looks very pink, but it's, it doesn't come across that much. I like color because I have a very small face and a narrow face. So you know how people try to contour their face a lot? I try to make my face a little fresher and brighter. So I love using blush. It's like one of my favorite things. And I just do this rub it in. I'm sure uh, all the makeup artists who are seeing me do this are gonna be like, eh, hey, what is Sun doing? But I like doing this, this is fun. See, it just, I feel like it just brightens up my face and I do it right on my app, the apples of my cheek. Oh, guys, so my blush is done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. I, I love this benefit bronzer I think it's like amazing so I don't usually need contouring but once you do foundation your face just becomes flat and so you need to bring back the shape in your face and then I take the same brush that I do my eyeshadow with and just kind of take a little bit and do a little bit of my crease this is me doing it, it's not some like professional makeup artist, so it works. Then after I've done all of this, then I take a blender. I hate it when those like harsh lines show, I find it like really, I don't know, you look like a clown. Oh, I actually like doing a little more of a highlight, I just I feel like I, I feel like a movie star. So, I mean I am one, but I feel like one. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do my highlighter now. Um, I use this palette, which is like three different shades, but I only end up using the one which is in the middle. Okay, then I put a little bit on my brow bone, a little bit here. That's it, I don't wanna do more than that. This looks painful, but this is the most important thing to make your eyes look big. 
I in every makeup kit I have one of these. I actually curled my husband's lashes once and um, he looked kind of crazy because he always asks me what why do you do this? I was like I'll show you and he was like uh, he doesn't still understand it. Ah, done. Now let's do the mascara. So usually I just close my eyes and just do this. One eye actually if I close both my eyes I couldn't actually see what I'm doing. This is something that just lasts on my lips like all the time. It's my favorite color. It's called Dragon Girl from NARS and I have been using it again since I was like 21, 22. It's amazing. I feel I can conquer the world when I wear red lips. It just makes me feel so good. See the coconut oil actually lets my lip color go on nicely. Usually a lot of the lip balms kind of don't let you use lip color as effectively so I use a little bit of it and it makes my lips really nice. I follow the shape of my lip line because I have I think I have pretty okay lips and I don't like that overlined look and I find like lips chic you know I think every person has a lip shape and lip size for their face. Now the last bit to make it like super Indian um, I'm going to put a little bit of Sindoor, since I'm married and I'm very dramatic and I'm a movie star and I'm allowed to be dramatic. This is like a Sindoor liquid thing. It's only for married women. Um, it's like to show that you're married. There are 16 things that you do when you're married, which is put kajal, put like Sindoor, bangles, Mangal Sutra, like 16, they call it Sola Singar. My husband, who is Indian but he's like American, didn't know what this was. I'm going to do a little bit of a bindi because uh, Sindhu without bindi looks weird and I don't have a bindi so I'm just going to use um, a kajal pencil or a brown pencil to do it. So it's done. It's me with my little bindi and okay I can make it bigger. Oh, I'm done. The last bit is me wearing my silver jhumkas. These are from India. I think they're my mom's old ones, which I've stolen from her. They're real silver. And you done. I am looking very Indian and I am ready to go out somewhere. Bye guys.